Welcome back, everyone. This is my last picking of bell peppers before we had our freeze. So, since I got my new dehydrator, this will be the first thing I put in it. So, I'm going to get busy cutting them up. I've got a ton in the freezer froze already, so I'm going to dehydrate these. And I will take y'all along on the process. It's not super hard. It's just tedious getting all the seeds out and everything but I'll take you along these veins out because they're bitter. Get all the seeds out, little blossom end. Try to hang on to them. Start at the top. I don't know what you're supposed to start at the top or at the bottom. I'm gonna start at the top. Okay. okay, got the door cover on, got it turned on, I already did it, turned it on, okay, it said 10 to 12 hours, so I need to go to 12 hours, well, I guess I could start at 10, okay. We shall see what they look like after 10 hours. Getting awfully skinny. It has another, well, y'all can't see that. It has three hours and 48 minutes left. Watch it. They're shriveling up. Okay. This is the next day. I did turn it on and let it go for about 30 minutes just to make sure the moisture is gone because it cut off sometime during the night. So, have a sneaky feeling that what we have in here, see how tiny they are? How tiny they are? When I get it all out of there and jumbled up, because I'm going to break them up. My mom used dried bell peppers like a meatloaf and stuff. That's my plan. But I don't think I'm going to need a very big container.
one whole tray. <laughs> That's all of them. Nine trays worth. I will get them all crunched up and in a container. They're pretty tough. the jar and then they'll be ready for the pantry. tablespoons when you use them. Yay! All right, that's it for the dehydrated bell peppers. Thanks for coming along with me, and I will see you on the next video.